Amanda Knox's explosive letter about her life behind bars. She says she was a victim of sexual harassment during her imprisonment in Italy. And ABC's T.J. Winnick is here with that story. Quite startling. Good morning, T.J. It is. It seems like we're learning more and more every day. Upon her release from prison last week, we heard reports of how popular Amanda Knox was inside that facility. Well, it turns out she didn't always have an easy time. There was serious harassment to deal with, making an already frightening place that much more terrifying the American college student. Four years. That's how long Amanda Knox lived in this Italian prison. But only now are we learning what her life was really like there. According to broadcast reports, she says she was sexually harassed by a high-ranking prison administrator who would ask uncomfortable questions about her sexual preferences in his office alone at night. I think the Italian courts, the first time around, practically made sure Amanda was going to be harassed in prison since they made her sex life so much a focus of the first trial. They said constantly that she was a girl without morals. The harassment allegedly stopped only when her attorney complained. But according to Vanity Fair writer Judy Backrack, she was also harassed by female inmates. They didn't go to the limit. In other words, gradually Amanda Knox learned how to fend off unwanted advances from female prisoners. Up until now, we've heard of how Amanda Knox tried to productively fill her time behind bars. Exercising, cooking, learning Italian, even keeping a journal. But since her release, her father Kurt says the family has not discussed the full details of her prison life. We had one simple focus, and that was to bring Amanda home and ensure that she was uh, safe and feels safe, and then we'll deal with any other issues that we have to deal with later. We're also now learning what went on inside that jury room. One of the jurors breaking his silence to Italian TV, saying he spent much of the trial trying to read the faces of Knox and her co-defendant, Rafael Salecito. He said, I saw the faces of those two kids and they couldn't bluff. They didn't bluff. My point of view is these kids weren't guilty. And the family of Rafael Salecito are now offering to help the Kircher family get to the truth about what happened to their daughter, Meredith. The Salecitos believe she was murdered by Rudy Gade, who is currently serving 16 years in jail for the crime. But they say the full story has not been told. And I think that's what everyone wants to know, what exactly happened that night. Well, there's widespread speculation that Amanda will write a book one day. So we'll see. maybe we'll hear. It's always All been right. fascinating to me that Rudy Gade got a shorter sentence than Amanda. Yeah, 16 years. Yeah, that's right. it's fascinating. Thank you very much, DJ. Yeah.